Hello everyone and welcome. Um, today we are going to be making a boss fight for a platformer game. Um, this is a bit different from a normal boss fight because in our platformer games we don't have a way to shoot projectiles. So we defeat our boss, or you'll see our boss follows us slowly, and we defeat our boss by bouncing on his head, and his head is a little chunk of his health bar down there. So by landing on our boss's head, we lose, he loses health, but if we don't land on his head, if we just hit him, we lose a life as you'll see up in the top left. So there we are. You can keep bouncing on his head. And then not see eventually runs out of lives. There we are. The health bar disappears and we get points. Right. So you can just structure this like a normal level. Um, and I'll show you how I've done it. So if we go over to a uh, this is just the basic setup for our game. So I've got our sprite, our movement, and I've just set it to level 3 here. So I've just made two blank levels, and the same with my boss fight on level 3. I've designed my tile map to have a nice big space for us to fight our boss. And because we want to be landing on our boss's head, I've made these little platforms here, so you can easily climb up and jump into his head down there. And this mark is just where my character starts. So, what I'm going to do first is make a new function. So if we go into advanced, scroll down and into functions, I'm going to make a function to spawn our boss. So I'm just going to call it boss. Oops. Boss1. There we go. Put that there. And in this function, I'm going to first create a sprite. So in the sprite section, grab a set my sprite. We will name, rename this my sprite to, or whatever it's called for you, to my boss. And I'm going to just choose art from the gallery, but you can take art from wherever you want. So I'm going to use this one here. And the way I'm going to place my boss, or firstly, if we go over, um, so for this function here, if you go into functions, this call boss one, we want to put this only on the level that our boss will be in. So my boss is going to be on level three, so I'm going to put my call boss one onto level three. So most of yours will have it down here, but I'm putting it just in the level that the boss will happen on. But if we go see our boss, you'll notice he's quite small. He's not very scary. Um, and that sort of doesn't make our level very exciting. So what I'm going to do is go into sprites and scroll all the way to the bottom to get this my sprite scale. And if I put this underneath here, change my sprite to my boss, and I'm going to double it in size. So change it from one to two. So now if we go to look at him, he's much bigger, much scarier. See that? Next, I'm going to place my sprite. If we scroll down in here, there's place my sprite on top of. Put that in there. Make sure this is my boss. And for these numbers here, I'm going to go into the tile map. And I want you to find somewhere near the top middle. So see where about. So this is, this is my boss area here. Because our sprite is quite big, we can't start it on the bottom because he'll fall through the ground. So I want you to find somewhere in the top middle. And say I put a marker there. You'll see, if I hover my cursor over it, you'll see in the bottom left, down here, right where my cursor is, it says 9, 8. That's where we're going to spawn our boss in. So I'm going to use 9, 8. Um, but those numbers will be different for you depending on where that is on your tile map. So in there, 9, 8 is what I put. And you'll see that puts our boss in here. But you'll notice he's floating, and we don't want him to be floating. So we're going to give him gravity the exact same way that our sprite does. So we'll get set my sprite x, change my sprite to my boss and change x to acceleration y, and we'll put 350 in there. 
So now our boss will spawn in and fall down. Look at that. Big and scary. So now that our boss is spawned in, we need a way for our game to know if the boss is alive or not. So we're going to make a new variable and we're going to call it boss alive. Like that. And we're going to set boss alive to, and then we'll set it to true. Like that. I might move my boss over a little just to make it not spawn in on screen. My boss is over here now. We'll set boss life to true. And now we want to give our boss health, a status bar. So uh, we want a big health bar. You'll notice in this one how we have a big health bar along the bottom here. So we're going to make this health bar here now. So if we go into extensions, and we'll search status. There we are. We want this one here. Back down again. Go into status bars. And we'll grab this set status bar too. Now because I'm putting mine along the bottom of the screen, our screen is a 160 wide. So I'm going to make mine about 140. I'm going to make the height about 10. And the kind will be enemy health, like that. See, now we have this big health bar here. See that? Huge. We don't need it to be up in the center of our screen, though. So we're going to go into status bars and set status bar position to bottom. And that will move it down to the bottom of our screen there. Now you'll notice how it's quite flat right along the bottom of the screen. We don't want that, we want it to be up a little bit. So we're going to go into status bars, scroll down, and grab this set status bar padding. And I'm going to set my padding to 5, just like that. Next we're going to change our colors around, because green usually means it's uh, your health bar or a friendly health bar, but our boss is not friendly. So we are going to set the fill to red, the background to set mine to purple. If we press on the plus, this drain color is going to be what it looks like when our boss takes damage. So I'm going to pick yellow for that there. And now, so this drain color works, we want to go into status bars again and drag this set status bar smooth transition. So we put that in there and switch that to on. Here we are, we've got a little status bar down there, but it blends into our background a bit. So we can go in here again and just grab out this border with one. And this will just make it pop a bit more, keep it off our background. So I'm going to set mine to black and give it a width of two. You'll see there now we have a little health bar along the bottom. So we just want it so when we jump on our boss, we do damage to him. But if we walk into the side, we lose lives. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make a way for our boss to follow us. So we want him to follow us slowly. So we're going to make a new function in game on game update logic give an if block and in that if block we'll put boss alive just like that if boss alive then put the logic and grab another if block but we'll grab one of these else if blocks here click on the plus. Now in the first one, we're going to put one of these less than ones here. We're going to go to mass and grab out the plus, put it in the first one. Now in the sprites, we'll grab one of these sort of pill-shaped ones here. 
put it in the first one. If my sprite x plus 30 is less than, and we can duplicate this one here, so just right click on it, click duplicate, turn this to my boss x. So if my sprite x plus 30 is less than my boss x, then we want to set my boss velocity x, because that's horizontal, to minus 20. You can make your boss faster or slower, but I thought minus 20 was a good speed for mine. See there, now he's doing, but he's moving backwards, and we don't want that. So we're going to go into sprites, scroll down, and grab the set image. And we're going to set my boss image to and we're going to grab out that exact same monster again. But I'm just going to press this button to flip it so he's facing the right way now. So now when he walks, he'll be facing me. There we are. Now, in this L section here, we can right click on this part here. And click duplicate. Drag that in. Now, we want to change this plus to a minus, and this arrow to a greater than symbol, like that. And then, right on this, duplicate again, and we want to change this to just 20, no minus. And now, we go back into sprites, do not duplicate this one, or it will not work. Scroll down and grab this set my sprite image again. Change my sprites to my boss. Pick out the same image. Scroll down. Oh, this one here. And we want to keep it facing this way. There we are. And in the last part, we're just going to duplicate this again. And we'll just put zero in there. So now we have a boss that follows us. Yeah. He turns around and chases us no matter which way we go. If we go over the top, oh, look at that. Turns around again. Very nice. So our next step is going to be making it so we can land on our boss's head. So, we do already have code for this. Um, but we're going to do it again for our boss because we have to very slightly change it. So, if we go into sprites and grab out this on sprite overlaps another sprite, we want it on sprite of kind player overlaps another sprite of kind. Oh, well, that's something we forgot to do. Make sure you go up to your boss here and change this player kind. I've already got it here, but if you press add a new kind, you can call it boss. Make a boss kind down there. So now on this one, we want to be on sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind boss. Just like that. So when our sprite hits a boss, we want to first check if we are above the sprite or not. So first we want to see if we are moving downwards. So we'll grab this and block here, put it in. And we'll grab this less than block, change it to greater than, and then go into sprites, get the pill shaped one again, drop it in there, and we'll change x to velocity y. So this just basically says if we're moving downwards. And then the other side of the and block, we want to make sure that we are higher than our boss. So, we're going to go into logic, grab this one here, and then we just want to grab another one of these little pill-shaped ones, change x to y, duplicate it, 
and then change my sprites to my boss. So we now have one that says if our sprite is moving down and is higher than our boss, we want to make our sprite bounce up a little. So we'll grab this one here. Velocity Y, and we'll make him bounce up a little bit. So I'm just going to do minus 70. That was a good number for me. And because we've landed on our boss's head, we want to lower his health bar. So we'll get this change status bar value by minus 10. I like minus 10. Um, but you can make yourself do more or less damage. Up to you. And then in info, we're going to grab a change life by minus one and put that in the L section. So if we are not above our sprite, we want to change our life by minus one. And then right down the bottom, we just want to put a pause for one second, just like that. So now you should have when a player overlaps a boss, if they're above it and moving downwards, make them bounce up and lower the boss's health. If you don't, you lose a life and then afterwards it will wait one second before it does it again. Our last step is for when our boss dies. So we want to grab this on status bar health zero. Change health to enemy health. Then we want to go into sprites, grab a destroy. We want to destroy my boss, and I'm going to give it an effect. I like the disintegrate one, that one's quite cool. There we are. Oops. And then back into sprites, we'll grab another destroy. And we want to destroy status bar. Then, because our boss is now dead, we want to set boss alive to false. And then, lastly, we want to get some points for beating our boss. So we might change the score by 20 there. So now you should have a finished boss. So you'll see that when I bounce on his head, he loses life. There we are, gone. And we get 20 points now. So, um, when you make your bosses, feel free to send them to us so we can see what you've made and maybe we'll even talk about it on one of our videos. So to share your game, press on these little connected dots up here, click share project, and click on copy here. And then with this link, you can send it to us in our comments and we can have a look at it and, you know, see what's happening. And if you're having any trouble, also do that, and we can give you some help on what you might be stuck with. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope it was useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.